Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This is going to be part of a beginner's introductory series about the basics of specific coins for those who might be new to the space. Today we are starting out with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a new kind of money that can be sent from one person to another without the need for a trusted third party such as a bank or other financial institution. It is the first global decentralized currency. Bitcoin was originally released in 2009 by someone by the name of Satoshi Nakamoto as a piece of software and a paper describing how it works. Because Bitcoin is fundamentally software, anyone in the world can run it on their computer and therefore participate in a global economy. One of the most important elements of Bitcoin is the blockchain, which tracks who owns what, similar to how a bank tracks assets. What sets the Bitcoin blockchain apart from a bank's ledger is that it is distributed, meaning anyone in the world can view it. Since Bitcoin is open, no company, country, or third party is in control of it, and anyone can participate. One can use Bitcoin to purchase goods on the internet and in stores. The following are some unique properties of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is global. Bitcoin can be sent to someone across the world as easily as one can pass cash across the counter. Bitcoin is enclosed on weekend, this is very important, and doesn't impose any arbitrary limits. Bitcoin is irreversible. Bitcoin is like cash in that transactions can't be reversed by the sender. In comparison, credit card, popular online payment systems, and banking transactions can be reversed after the payment has been made, sometimes months after the initial transaction. When paying with Bitcoin, there are no bank statements and one not need to provide unnecessary personal information to the merchant. This is why Bitcoin has become relatively or very popular over the last couple of years in that essentially you are able to do what you want when you want with your own money without someone being able to tell you that you cannot do so. Bitcoin transactions do not contain any identifying information other than the Bitcoin addresses and amounts involved due to the cryptographic nature of the Bitcoin network. Bitcoin payments are fundamentally more secure than standard debit and credit transactions. When making a Bitcoin payment, no sensitive information is required to be sent over the internet. This is very low risk of your financial institution being compromised or having your identity stolen. That is incredibly important. These basically make up the beginning fundamentals of why people are into cryptocurrencies. I'm sure if you are new to the space, once again, welcome. Uh, you may have had questions as to why Bitcoin has become more of a uh, global phenomenon over the last couple of months, depending on when you may have heard about it. It's simply because uh, we have lived in a system for so long where people have told us what we can do and what we cannot do with our own money. And the advent of cryptocurrencies has allowed us to come to the conclusion that if it is our money, we should have the freedom to do with it as we wish. On the same exact topic, we're going to talk a bit about something called the blockchain, which is uh, probably one of the most important things about Bitcoin. The blockchain, as it is called, is a shared public ledger on which the entire Bitcoin network relies. All confirmed transactions are included in the blockchain. It allows Bitcoin wallets to calculate their spendable balance so that new transactions can be verified, thereby ensuring they're actually owned by the spender. This integrity and chronological order of the blockchain are enforced with cryptography. This basically says when anything happens on the blockchain, it lets everyone else in the, know, in the world know at the exact same time that it is happening. And therefore, your money cannot be manipulated and no one else can uh, maliciously have you send things to them, uh, especially twice, uh, which is something that is not allowed on the network. For private keys, this is uh, not in depth that much uh but it's still in the basic level something to know about it says a transaction is a transfer of value between bitcoin wallets that gets included in the blockchain bitcoin wallets keep a secret piece of data called a private key or a seed which is used to sign transactions providing a mathematical proof that they have come to the owner of the wallet the signature also prevents the transaction from being altered by anyone once it has been issued all transactions are broadcast to the network and usually begin to be confirmed within 10 to 20 minutes through a process called mining. When you are sending transactions, no one else can stop your transaction from happening. And this is part of the beauty of cryptocurrency and that it is your money. You control what happens to it and you control who is sending you or who you are sending money to as well. Now on the minimal, more or less, topic of mining. The reason it's called mining 
isn't that it involves a physical act of digging. Bitcoin are entirely digital that doesn't require explosive excavation or panning systems, but they do have their own form of prospecting and recovery, which is where the mining nomenclature comes from. Prospective miners download and run bespoke mining software, of which there are several popular options, and often join a pool of other miners doing the same thing. Together or alone, though, the software compiles recent Bitcoin transactions into blocks and provides their validity by calculating a proof of work that covers all of the data in those blocks. This involves the mining hardware taking a huge number of guesses at a particular integer over and over until they find the correct one. It's a computationally intense process that is further hampered by deliberate increases in difficulty as more and more miners attempt to create the next block in the chain. That's why people join pools and why only the most powerful of applications or ASIC mining hardware is effective at mining Bitcoin today. I know a lot of you probably, uh, you probably are more confused than you even began with. To put all of this into uh, a very simple uh, phrase, what ends up happening is when you send a transaction on the Bitcoin network, there are other people who are validating your transactions through something called proof of work. And as they validate these transactions, they also help to create new coins, new Bitcoin on the network. And therefore, they are miners because they are helping to create new coins by validating the transaction that you sent. And that's pretty much the gist of it. This is once, once again, like I said, a very basic introduction. I've noticed a lot of people have had uh, very similar questions when people have come up to me and have asked me exactly what Bitcoin is. So I thought it would be rather nice to be able to make something like this for people who are very new to the cryptocurrency world and especially looking to find out exactly what cryptocurrencies are and what Bitcoin is. For those who are uh, still uh, have maybe some questions or like to do some digging around, there is a website called blockchain.com where you can see all the charts specifically about Bitcoin and exactly what is happening on the network at any given time. I hope that you all enjoyed. I hope that I helped at least a tiny bit on the basics of Bitcoin. Thank you once again for watching and or listening. I do appreciate your support and I'll talk to you all soon. See you.